Hi again, here we are to talk about Xcode and uh, in making a to-do app. Um, for this example, I'm going to start with a brand new project. And what I'd like to do here is I'd like to set our, ta uh, I mean our to-do app up with a special arrangement of code so we can like, you know, manage our to-dos, right? So in the last example, we created a table view and we stored all the data for the table view in the you know UI view controller that was the you know the view controller for the view holding the table view um, and that's okay and it, wor it works all right but the problem is um, you know if we have multiple views and our app needs to access data that is displayed in the table view it's really hard to communicate with with one of the views if the data is contained in that view so rather than having array owned by the UI table view controller, right, or our, our view controller, we'd like to move the the data for the that, that we're displaying in our app and the table view into another class that can be shared by, throughout our program, right? So that'll make more sense in a minute here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a brand new project, and I'll, I'll start a new project here called Create New Project. I'll click that button, and I'll choose the single view application, and this will be iOS, right? And we'll click Next. And I'll call this one To Do App. And I'll save it. I'm going to check this box here for Use Core Data. Okay, so let's before we go any further, let's make sure we're Language Swift and Use Core Data. We're going to come back to Core Data later. Um, but anyway, we've got Core Data checked there. And then we'll click Next. And um, I'm going to put this in this Example folder here and click create. Okay, so there we go. So this time we're not going to build the table view yet. We're going to come back to the table view. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to build a class that can store our to-do items and share them throughout the entire program with all the other classes, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a brand new Swift file, okay? And uh, I'll just choose Swift file here like this, right? And click Next. And I'm going to call this To Do Manager, okay? And I'll save it into my project. And I'm going to type in UI Kit up here instead of Foundation, though I, I think that that won't even matter. Um, and then I'll type in Class. And then the name of our class is To Do Manager. Okay, so this is a brand new class, and classes should always begin with an uppercase letter, so we'll make sure that's uppercase, right? Okay, so this is our to-do manager, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a special type of class. Re really, we're going to, it's not really a special type of class, it's really kind of a special arrangement that makes the class act in a, in a certain way, right? And this class is going to be what's called a singleton. Okay, so a singleton is a class where only one instance of that class can exist. Okay, normally when we make an instance of a class, you know, we could make multiple instances, right? So, you know, you can make an instance of a table view cell, and then you could make another table view cell, and they would be, you know, instances of UI table view cell, but you'd have, you know, two, three, or four, or five of them, and every time you made a new, a new table view cell, you'd have another instance, right? Um, with a singleton, every time we talk to the singleton, we're going to talk to it through a, a specially arranged property called shared instance. And when we talk to the shared instance property, what's going to happen is we're going to get the same instance of table view, I mean of to-do manager. So really what's going to happen here is to-do manager is going to make an instance of itself and store an instance of itself in a class property, a static class property, okay? And so that property will belong to the class to-do manager, so we'll always access it through to-do manager. But when we access it, it will always be the same instance, okay? So here's how we do that. We're going to say static um, let shared instance equal to do manager. Okay, hey, that was pretty easy, right? So, uh, so anytime we talk to to do manager and we say to do manager dot shared instance, what we're going to get is an instance of to do manager. And since this is a let variable, it can't be changed. So the first time we set it, 
that's its value and it can never be set again, right? So we'll get that instance and then every time we talk to it, it'll be the same instance that was set the first time. And as a static variable, it belongs to the class. It doesn't belong to an instance of to-do manager, okay? I know that's a little heavy, but just go with me, right? Okay, so anyway, so there's our there's our class, and then let's give it some other properties, right? So maybe um, this um, to-do manager is going to have an array of to-dos, okay? So we'll give it an array there, and um, each to-do item, we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll make a class for those to-do items. So I'll make a brand new Swift class, Command N, right? And then I'll choose Swift file, and then I'll click Next. And then I'll say to do dot Swift. So that'll be the name of my class. And this new class, we'll use UI kit again here. We'll say class, and this new class is going to be called to do. Okay? And to do's will have a name, which will be a string, and a completed property, which will be a Boolean. Right, but you know what we'll do is we'll just set the completed property to false, and that'll, you know, that'll type this as boolean and give it a value when we begin. Right, and like I explained before, you know, to do items, um, they'll each get a name, right, and they'll have a completed property to describe them. The completed property when you're creating a to to do item, it's probably not complete. That's why you're adding it to your list. So we can assume that this was probably going to be false. Like every time we create a new item, the name on the other hand though could be anything, right? So tie your shoes, eat a sandwich, you know, whatever thing you needed to do. Um, I'm getting an error here because it says it's going to say like all properties must be initialized, right? So what we should include is we should include an init method here. Okay, and then we have to make sure that this property gets a value inside in it. Okay, because in Swift, all properties must be initialized when the class is created. Okay, and so this one, you know, the completed item is okay. It got a value here, but but name string did not get a value. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's put name here as string, and then we'll say self dot name equals name okay so here's um, uh, name is a string and then here you know when you init this property it's gonna have a, a you know a parameter variable or argument called name and self name is going to be the name string up here and name will be assigned to that value so whenever you initialize a to-do item you have to include the name and we'll be setting the property name of the to-do item right when when you initialize it okay so now if we go back to our um, to do manager class let me move these guys in here seems like I'd rather find them there right so so anyway so there's our class right and when I go back to the to do manager what we're gonna do is we're gonna say to do's right is an array but it contains items that are type to do so, you know, this is going to be an array of items that are, you know, members of the to-do class, okay? And we need to include the parentheses here to initialize an empty array with a class. So, so we'll say, you know, to-dos equal brackets, name of the type or whatever we're going to store in the array, and then parentheses here um, on the end to initialize it, right? Okay, so... Uh, so anyway, so that's pretty good there. Um, what if we want to add some default items to our to our to do manager, right? We'll actually create some methods to um, to get to dos out of here and to count them and to remove them and add new ones and stuff like that. But maybe we need to add some default items just to you know give it some default data. So what I'll do is I'll use the initializer to initialize the the to do manager, right? And we're going to initialize it, you know, essentially here, like whenever you, you know, call on shared instance, it will set the value to uh, to the, a new instance of to-do manager, right? And this essentially calls on the init function, okay? Now, you could create instances of to-do manager outside here, right? By, by not calling shared instance, you could just say to-do with the parentheses. And so we're going to prevent that by putting private in front of init, 
So now this class can only be initialized internally. So inside the class here is the only way you can initialize it, which is only going to happen here. Okay? So now when we initialize the class, why don't we add a couple new to-do items, right? So what we'll do is we'll say, um, uh, how about to-do, to-dos with an S, right? A dot append. So we're going to add a new item to the array. And then what I want to add is a to-do item, right? And when I hit the parentheses there, you can see it gives me to-do initializer, and it says you have to include the name. So I'll include a string for the name, and this one will be, um, you know, get dressed, right? And then maybe I'll do to-dos dot append to-do name is, um, oops, let's do this way, let's do uh, name is eat breakfast, right? And then to do's dot append to do, I think actually, I think I made a mistake and I should have put name colon in front of there. Yeah, it's going to warn me. We'll, we'll fix that in a moment. This one will be like brush teeth, right? I should have put this colon with the name in front here. Let me fix that. There we go. Now it'll be happy. Okay. And then, uh, oh, and then I did to do, right? That's not right. Let's fix the spelling there. Maybe I'll add one more item here and this one will be... tie shoes, right? Okay, so there we go. So now we've got our to-do items. So now how do we get at these items in our to-do manager, okay? So let's add one more, let's add two more methods here, okay? So these are our, our properties up here, and this is our initializer down here. Let's do, let's put a mark there, right? Mark colon in it, right? And then up here, maybe we'll do our methods, right? So we got two properties up there, and let's add a couple methods now. So I'm going to say we need, we need a method to get a to-do item from the to-do manager. So we'll just we'll make it really simple. We'll say function um, to-do at index, right? So this function will take index, which will be an int, and it will return a to-do, okay? And then the to-do it's going to return is um, the to-do um, at this index, right? And so what we'll do is we'll say, you know, return to-do's index, right? And that will be our um, to-do that we return. Right, And we could put some error checking in here just in case, like we could add some more code there, but for right now we'll just leave it simple. But, uh, you know, we could put some code in here to check and see that, you know, this to-do actually exists in the array or that, um, you know, the index is, is valid, you know. Um, but we'll leave that out now for simplicity. So that's probably pretty good. So now we can just call on our shared instance and get the, the to-do item from the array. Let's do another one, right? So um, that's how we're going to get it a to-do. Um, maybe we need to know how many to-dos there are, like I want to count them. And we could get it from the array, but it might be convenient to create a method here, or actually let's do a, a, a computed property, right, in, in our to-do manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, var count, right? And it will be an int. And this is going to be a getter. So I'm going to do get and we will return to do's dot count. Okay, so now we have a property. We can say to do manager shared instance dot count, and that'll return the count of to do's. Okay, so anyway, that's probably enough for right now. Why don't we test this out? Okay, so how is this going to work? So we'll go to our view controller, and there isn't much code in here right now, but. Uh, Let's, uh, let's make some space here in the view did load method. And what we'll do is we'll just print the count of the array, 
of to-dos, right? So what we'll do is in order to use the, the singleton now, right? So remember, we've set to-do manager up as a, as a shared instance, right? And that's the only way to get to the instance of to-do manager, and there will only ever be one instance of to-do manager, okay? So to get to that one instance, we're going to do this. We're going to say, um, like, let's say I want to get the count, right? I'll say to-do manager dot shared instance dot count, okay? And then if we want to print the count, we can say um, to-do count is count, right? Okay, we could actually have just put all of this, you know, inside here, but, um, but uh, you know, it's kind of easier to read this way. I can just put that on two lines, right? This is just probably telling me that this could have been a let variable because it doesn't change. So let's make that let, and then that message will go away. Um, what if we want to get at one of the to-do items, right? So I could say let t for to-do equal... And now here's how we're going to get it at the to, at a, at the, our other method of to do manager, which is um, to do at index, right? So we're going to call on that right now, and we're going to do it this way. We're going to say to do manager dot shared instance dot to do at index, and then we'll give it an index. So maybe I want the first index. I'll I'll put in index zero, and then if I print this out, I can say um, you know print first to do and then uh, we'll just print the name of that to do right so I'll type in t dot name okay because remember this is a to do instance right it's one of these guys right so if I look at to do's they have two properties name and completed okay um, and there we go so let's give that a quick test so I'll, I'll let me switch this to the iPhone 6 and then uh, test it Though the, the, the device really doesn't matter for this example, right? So we'll wait for that to start up any moment now. There we go, right? And then in our console down here, it should say to do count is four because we created four items. And then first to do, and I misspelled first, but uh, this is get dressed, right? So uh, so there we go. So everything's working. So how did that work? Well, we call on to do manager shared instance dot count, and essentially what we're doing is we're going to to do manager. Since this is a static property, we access it through the class name rather than an instance. And so we're getting this shared instance right here. And the first time we call on it, it makes an instance of to-do manager. And then that actually runs the code down here in the, in the init function, right? And so then that instance is saved in the shared instance. And when we call on any of the properties here, we call on them through the shared instance because they all belong like this to-do manager makes an object that has to-dos, count, and to do at index, okay? So anyway, so there we go. That's a, that's a quick example. And we're essentially going to use this arrangement so that when we create our to-do app, um, all the other views will be able to talk to the to-do manager, and the to-do manager will be able to, you know, add a new to-do, delete a to-do, provide a to-do, like at a particular index, or tell you how many to-dos are in the list, okay? And then that'll be available throughout our entire program because from anywhere in the program, we can use to-do manager dot shared instance to access any of the, any of the properties or methods of the to-do manager, okay? So anyway, you'll, you'll see how this works out. We'll continue in the next video, okay? Thanks for watching.